we having some EQ, EQ troubles? Uh, oh, there we go, that just went we're, up. We're back now, so sorry okay, about so that. Okay, so your Senju's gonna start off with an incredibly strong hand. A set back row, a Kama 2 is that, and a Necro Valley. Yeah. I'm afraid we, I don't know my Kamas. The card of Demise is just absolutely amazing. But the card of Demise did draw him into two more your Senju's. That is a bad part of that play. So play is then gonna pass to Zach. And we'll see what Zach has to do. I'm seeing a lot of monsters in there, but his list is a lot of monsters. But opening with Pendulum Sorcerer, definitely not a bad place to be at the start of this game. Yeah, exactly. So, um, it's, it's as I was just saying earlier, um, because we were muted. Lol. <laughs> were we actually muted? We were actually muted. I, I, still, um, ha I still have the mic over there. Ah! Player into your area mic, that's my fault. So, um, Yosenju obviously started with a card of the mice, but T Yosenju was really bad. And now we go into the pendulum side, and uh, we had Sky Iris searching, which is insane. The only thing that wouldn't have, would have made it better if there was a magical abductor, then that would have been huge. Yeah, he does play the magical abductor. Um, he's going to play the Kieran in the scale, obviously, to pop that with the Sky Iris, getting free searches from his deck. Just so, so this good. Is a deck that I played religiously during the Euros format. Really wish I'd played it myself for yeah. the, uh, so for the saw, event. So we saw. Um, uh, I saw a Chaos Trouble in uh, William's back row, um, but I wasn't sure what the other one was, do you? Uh, I haven't honestly seen it at all. No, that's fine. Well, if we look at the hands, maybe we can... Did we get the hand guess. images? Yeah. yeah. Um, right. It, it'll be he a has a Raigeki, key, yeah. So it'll be a Raigeki. Um, and just, just to talk about um, Zach's other hand, it's... Um, it was have... originally All Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, Mystical Space Typhoon, Wisdom Eye Magician, Terraforming, and Pendulum Sorcerer. Which is huge. So... I didn't see what Zack searched. I believe it was the. It may have been the Odd Eyes Light Phoenix. Uh, the he's then going to use the Wisdom Eyes effect. Does he not have to have another? I'm not certain if he if he has no, to I have another so. another so. magician in the other scale. Um, he's then going to pendulum summon the Kirin. I believe it may just be the lone Kirin. I'm interested to see Sorcerer come down. Because he has a normal summon. Yet, yep. So it's fine. Sorcerer is played as well, so he's pendulum summon two. His opponent would have no response because the Chaos Trap Hole wouldn't be valid here. Um, the Sorcerer is then going to trigger. We're going to see it to search for possibly Monkey Board and um, Skullcrabat. Yeah, the, the duo. The duo. This is probably the last time you're going to see uh, Monkey Board on stream. Mm, definitely, definitely. So Skullcrabat's going to be summoned, activating its effect to search out. It's going to be the Unicorn. So he's now got the scale in and of it. He's got the scale anyway. Yep. So the monkey board search is just free pluses to set up a secondary scale in hand. And a lizard draw, mm. so good. Um, yeah. he, or he can just upstart Goblin with a lizard draw, like, if he doesn't want to use that. Yeah, exactly. That Necro Valley is literally, I don't think it affects him in any way, shape or form. No, it doesn't at all, so the Necro Valley engine is definitely coming out. He also doesn't play the Instant Fusion engine that some of these decks play with Norden. There's no Norden in this deck. So, uh, oh, I think eccentric on the Chaos the Trap Hole. Of course, leaving the Regeki isn't a problem either because Kirin can't be destroyed by it. Exactly. Um, so he's just going to poke for a 15 and an 18. Mm-hmm. So 33 damage. He's going to be on 47. And he has the added bonus that he can Kirin that Skullcrabat Joker in the event his opponent makes a play. So, so good. And yes. another interesting interaction. If his opponent draws another um, card of demise, he can force Yosenju's back into the hand early. If he wants it, if he really wanted to. Just a little so, interaction, but... So he's passed now, obviously, because he's already pensioned with someone with the yep, Kirin. Use the Odd Eyes to set. Too late. It would have been, nice late. Late. been nice to strike that. Uh, I Kirin, think this is already... I mean, it, the Raigeki's irrelevant because there's a pendulum scale. Well, it, there will be yeah, exactly. a, a pendulum scale. Um, but you just got to do. Oh, unfortunately do, so. Unfortunately uh, I mean, the strike's kind of nice because he literally gets to... He, he can shut out a pendulum scale. Yep. So he's just going to attack, attack directly. directly. Uh, I don't remember how much it does for. I believe it might be 900. I'm not sure. But there, it will be confirmed by the judge at the end of the turn for yep. us. So the MST up. is then played on the strike. Wow. And that's th there's no there's no coming back from that. Because he's just got a game now. Unfortunately, so he plays the scale. He just drops his extra deck on the field. Like, I'd literally just show my opponent the extra deck and say, 
game three. You like game two? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much. That shall I waste? Yeah. Shall I waste time? So pendulums taking a very swift. Look. It's to be expected. Very, very pendulums swift. are such an obscenely fast deck, and if these trap decks want to compete against the pendulum deck, they need to open the traps. They need to open massive. They need to open traps. They need to open um, with the uh, card of the mice and yeah. um, just try and power through. They just quite simply can't handle it, unfortunately. So it's just it's not something yeah, they can they can it just didn't, it work just didn't with. happen. Um, and that's that's just that to be honest. Yeah. But what can you do? Eh? What can you do? So going into side decking, um, Zach Blondell, the uh, pendulum player, is siding three Maxi, two Kaiku, two Denko, two Ally Justice Quarantine, two Ghost Ogre, two Twin Twister, one Secret Village, and one Typhoon. And with uh, William, uh, we have three Ghost uh, Reaper and Winter Cherries, two Maxi, two Golem uh, two Cyclone, Cosmic Cyclone, that is, uh, Mis one Mystical Space Typhoon, three Anti Spell Fragrance, and two Sm uh, Storm and Miracle. So the Anti Spell Fragrance are instantly coming in, mm -hmm. especially with the uh, Maxi. Um, yep. Possibly the Garma Seal if he feels like curing might be a problem. Definitely. Um, um, and also maybe uh, an extra Mystical Space Typhoon. From Zach we are more than likely going to be seeing the Denko Seckers come in because he is playing against the Demi uh, Demise deck that's yeah. the only reason you would want to play that potentially see the Secret Village come in because his opponent of course doesn't play any spellcasters um, Typhoon maybe Twin Twisters definitely yeah. um, but otherwise Zach's really not that afraid of this because a lot of the things that the uh, the Yosenju deck would main deck to tackle him yeah. really don't hurt him that much Interestingly as well, William is playing a 43 card deck with the Yoshanjus. Okay. So I didn't actually spot that. A, 40, a 43 card deck with Upstart Goblin. 43 card deck with Upstart Goblin. Consistency is a thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. And okay. Yeah, so they're just currently still shuffling up. Let's see what the chat has to say about that. Um, Kaiser let's rip. have a wee look. Yeah, it's like the entire chat is just like on about Kaiser Coliseum. Like some of the sad things about that. Dante's at three. Kaiser Coliseum's banned. Like raging about that. Can't, Konami can't deal with the with ruling the card, so they were lazy and banned it. Um, it's just the entire chat is just talking about Kaiser Coliseum throughout this entire thing. Yeah, basically. Um, he does. Yeah, Vile Muffin. Does he play De Desires? De no. <laughs> Dex oh, he out. Does. Sorry, he plays three Desires. He does play Desires. So that's why the forty-three card deck is a thing. Mm. Dex um, out for Haram board. Haram board. <laughs> Haram board. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, but yeah, so he has a lot of draw cards, a lot of draw power. Um, desires, desires and counter fairies. What do you think? Pot of desires. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? You're playing so many traps. Do you really care about which ones you get rid of, though? It's like the metal folk conundrum, where most of your cards literally do the same thing. Yeah, true. So you really don't care that much. So yeah. I think it work. Me, me, Della Green. Thank I you wouldn't. Very much for your love, by the way. <laughs> I would not play a 40 card deck of counter fairies with uh, like desires and demise though. No, I, I, I just love demise too much. Yeah, yeah. Like that card single handedly won me nuts. Mm. Well, I say won me nuts, topped me nuts. Topped you nuts. Um, I, like, I, just, I was I just like, let's like, not yeah. go the whole hog here. It peaked. Uh, so, right, we're going to jump back to uh, the match very soon. Mm -hmm. They're just shuffling up, uh, and that is, that is it. And um, Billy is going to go first uh, again. Mm. So, um, Billy? Who's Billy? We got pictures of the sideboards. I show him what they're siding in. So we have three anti spells. Billy is William. Oh, right, okay, yeah, of course. Billy, Willy. Yeah. Don't make pee jokes about that guy. He he. So they're drawing up now. And um, we'll switch back. Okay, so, so William's hand is Cosmic Cyclone. Okay, we'll start with Zach's hand. Zach's hand, since he is going first, is uh, Denko second. Monkey boards, ignite reloads, terraforming, and scorpion back Joker. Ignite reload, basically an upstart goblin. Yeah. And then uh, Zach's hand is cosmic cyclone, Trantal tribute, storming mirror force. Oh no, yeah. that's radiant. That's force. radiant mirror force. Uh, anti spell and uh, your center that we can't quite make out. Mm -hmm. so, so ignite reload is played, cycling back even the monkey board. Wow. Well, because I mean, he's he chaining needs, it to the anti spell. To yeah, he has to. Uh, he Sorry, to I didn't like look left. No, I need so. to die. Uh, he really needs to draw uh, the Twin Twister. Mm, definitely, definitely. Strong spell, strong spell. It's very difficult to see what he has. Um, but anyway, he can only set the Twin Twister at this point anyway. Mm -hmm. So, Like, he can Denko second push for damage as well. Like, he's not Denko second would be pretty, would be but pretty good. But then, right then now. he wouldn't be able to set his cards, so. It's true. He just set so, cards here. I mean, if he has the Emiscal Space Typhoon, then he's alright. So, uh, uh, Will's now going to think. Oh, yeah, he's going to so poke with the Cosmic. It. And what is it? Terraforming hits the bluff. So well, not the bluff, but the... Maybe the is, is it the bluff, we wonder? We hope. We hope. 
Do we hope? So. William is down to 7,000. Oh, it's Karma 1. It was Karma 1. It looks like he picked up another monk. Oh no, he's picked up a spell. That's a Karma. Is so that Karma 1? He's set the Karma 1. The Karma 1's going to go in for some lovely damage. Mm hmm. Zach is on 6,500. So William's 7,000. Denko Seka is summoned. Wow. Uh, interestingly enough, there comes the MST. the MST. Now that the MST is face up as well, William can't respond with his back row. It's really clever play from Zach. Brutal. Using the, using the non-activating effect of Denko Seka to full advantage there, the moment that MST is face up, nothing else can activate. And I think that's what he's explaining now. The moment that MST is face up, no cha nothing else can be flipped. Because the Denko will not change based on the chain. It changes yeah. immediately. So we're just waiting on... Um, we're waiting for the okay. explanation. Yeah. And that looks all good. Mm -hmm. So the floodgates could open up here, but it does depend on his back row. Back row is relevant. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. I'm yeah. stupid. He's yeah. going to then eccentric one of the Moy. Torrential tribute hit. Huge play out of Zach. Wow. Oh my goodness. So he's just poking start poking for 17 and 25. This could be bad news. Oh my goodness. And this is the problem here. This is why these demise decks do struggle to actually top in large numbers. Because you get situations like this where there's simply nothing they can do because the monsters they play just don't do enough. It's very true. Like. It's, it's just notable that they all have normally low um, low attack monsters, or they need they need other combo pieces. And it's because it's reliant on their just, traps. Yeah, just when you it's it's just so unfortunate. The two your sentries come out. The Denko is bounced, which turns his back row back on. Yep, we'll move. Kind of demise. Oh my goodness! Trap. A macro, a Raigeki, and another oh, Yasenju. So, so he's going to lose that Yasenju. The yeah. Raigeki has played for the Odd Eyes. Questionable play. It's Definitely a questionable, questionable play. I would have set everything. Uh, of course, going to poke for damage. Wait, did No he... damage because of card demise. Oh, of course, I didn't realize. I've, I've never actually read the card. I just thought it said draw three, discard the end. No, my mistake. Broken. They take no damage. Uh, on that, Jamie. Hey, hey. So he's thinking, and he activates the macro, uh, and he MSTs the other back row. So the ra just, it was a radiant. Wow. And, he's, and he just pendulum summons again. And, um, oh, Zach's not on there, 2 no. of course. But yeah, there we go. It, of course. So a very quick, a really, row. really quick game. I'm very surprised about that. I yeah. thought your centers would have put a bit of a better that's... fight, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. When Zach has all the outs, what can you really do? Yeah, that was like, ridiculous. That's so bad. As we just get the PM through that Zach won the match. Yeah. I mean, I kind of. I don't know what to do with the rest of our time now. I know, just like that was that was surprising. Oh what I, what I will do is I'll get um, Zach over for an interview. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you would like that, if you would like that, press one in the chat. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think I think it's it's so surprising that that happened so quick. Like Pendulum's obviously a very quick deck, um, but in all fairness, he had the MST, he had the yep. Denko, he had all of the outs. No matter what. Would uh, would happen? It's, mm, it's just mm, game over. Unfortunately, and that so. Raigeki just was was nothing. It was like no, it just nothing happened with it. Um, and yeah, people are posting ones to sixty nine. So <laughs> we'll take that as an interview. Shall we? Yeah, yeah. We'll um, put, go for the go for the interview, bro. Yeah, exactly. Right, so, right. We'll uh, jump away yep. for a little bit, and uh, we'll be back very soon with an interview. See you guys in a few.